Well, good afternoon. We're coming to you from the co-op community stadium, which is bathed in sunlight on this glorious March afternoon as the Leamington players and Geisley players and visitors this afternoon just uh, form into a guard of honour as the match officials make their way out. A guard of honour for a very special man. It's 600 not out for Paul Holleran as he celebrates his 600th game in charge of his Leamington side. A team that within his 12 years as tenure has led to two Birmingham Senior Cup titles, two Southern League promotions and one title winning season. It's a colossal milestone in the modern era of football that should not be overlooked. And Ugi this afternoon gets the recognition that he deserves as tributes have been flying in from around the National League community all week as he makes his way down the guard of honour. He's one of the most down-to-earth people that you'll meet in football and Leamington know how blessed they are to have him at the helm for the past 12 years. Paul Holleran been with the club since November 2009, so a colossal milestone for the man in the Leamington dugout. Although it was just in the last week that Paul Holleran was preaching how relieved he was to have a near full-choice first squad available to him, he's now lost one of his colossal stalwarts as Carl Morrison has departed to join High Flyers AFC Fylde. And after keeping the ball in their cage just outside the playoff places on Saturday. Leamington now turn their attention to taming the Lions as Geisley make the trip down to Harbury Lane, a side that are hazardously looking over their shoulders at the drop zone. Well, with a heat wave being rumoured to be inbound to England in the coming month, things are beginning to heat up as we reach the business end of the campaign. I'm beaten here in five. The breaks are on track for that 50-point target that Holleran has set for his side. So two minutes gone, Leamington, the very threatening free kick. Devin Kelly Evans leaves it for Morley. It starts towards the back post. Clark helps it back into the middle. It's swept clear though by Sraha. Edwards helps back into the middle where Mooney is waiting. It was Devin Kelly Evans who rose, cleared away by Geisley. Only as far as Morley, midway inside as the Geisley half on the left-hand side. Steps in field and floats on back into the penalty area. Well, the, go the goalkeeper, Mason, opted to kick rather than catch I think the ball just got caught in the wind and he lost fight of it in the sunshine as well it looked like a simple routine catch for the goalkeeper who opted just to volley that out of the air but it's turned out well for guys he's down the attack now down the left hand side with Dom Tear faced by James Mace tear into the middle into the front post and Hawkins snatched it out of the air with three guys he plays breathing down his neck on the goal line ready to take advantage teasing ball into the penalty area by Tear but Hawkins is on hand to snatch that on his goal line as Geisley shirts were bearing down his, on his, on his six-yard box. Here's Johnson again. Fashions the ball into the middle. Towards the back post. Leamington man wins a bit. Adam Walker's made a mess of the clearance, presents it straight to Dominic Tier. Who didn't catch that convincingly at all. Straight down the throat of Callum Hawkins, who spares Adam Walker's blushes. Kill it all the way back to his goalkeeper Mason who sliced his clearance but he's managed to find Johnston who with a terrific touch has kept the ball in play but presented it straight to Steph Morley and Leamington want the throw they won't get it it goes Geisley's way Gale holds the ball up against Jack Lane and now it's Johnston who can look to burst his way up to the edge of the penalty area he's got men over one of them is Sraha but he's uh, just drifted offside as he waited for the ball to be played by Johnston and so the offside flag is up against uh, Sraha. Leamington have a, a two-man wall, so free kick to come in. Tier with it, it's floated in, and it's off the line by Jack Lane. Heller comes in from Regan Hutchison, but got under it, over the bar. And all the goal to aim at, but put his effort over the crossbar. Joe Clark, centre of the park, lofts one in towards the 18-yard box. Kelsey Mooney is there, eludes him, and it bounces all the way through to Owen Mason. But it was good shepherding by Oliver Brown. Right-hand side, it'll be Meredith with the throw-in. Launched in towards Turner, who flicks on. Devin Kelly Evans arriving, and Devin Kelly Evans drills it into the bottom corner, and Leamington take the lead. A quarter of an hour into the second half. A fierce and convincing finish from Devon Kelly Evans and it all came from the Dan Meredith throw in launch into the penalty area Turner got the flick on at the front post and Devon Kelly Evans arriving at pace and drilled into the bottom corner absolutely no chance for Owen Mason and the guys he net and Leamington lead the Lions by a goal to nil 
Leamington 1, Geisley 0. Leamington draw first blood as they look to put the Lions in their cage. Bread and butter for the goalkeeper, albeit for the uh, cheers by the Harbury Lane faithful. Just goading him into laying into his own net as Edwards trades past with Walker on the left-hand side. Walker plays the ball into the penalty area. His turner onto his right foot. Vital challenge comes in from Cantrell. And guys, he can clear their lines. But uh, guys, he was stretched there. And now they can look to potentially counter-attack. Tear in field to Johnston. Works it onto his right foot. Now left. Bursting down the left-hand side of the penalty area. Joe Clark back there. Carrying out his defensive duties. Now back onto his right foot. Johnston, he's worked really hard to get it onto the periphery of the penalty area. Absolutely no help. A solitary effort from Johnston towards the byline. Can he get the ball across? He can, but it strains the arms of Callum Hawkins. Well, Johnston looked to uh, be roving in circles there on the edge of the Leamington penalty area. Had nowhere to go. Didn't want to pull the trigger. And in the end, it goes straight into the arms of Callum Hawkins. Takes the deflection off a Leamington man. Will be a guy as he throw it. Leamington do enough to clear their lines and now can break. And it's a flash of goal as they break with four men strong on the counter attack. But Kelsey Mooney didn't pick the right pass. And now it's Geisley who are in down the other end. And Stones blazes it wide from the angle with Hawkins scrambling. Brilliant chance for Geisley from one end of the pitch to the other in a heartbeat. And Stones just rushed his chance and fired well wide of Hawkins' left-hand post. Devin Kelly Evans then, standing on this set piece from the Leamington right-hand side, in front of the Harbury Lane faithful. In comes its flats. Free header for Jack Lane at the back. Well, I say free header. Had to lunge for it as the pace on the ball just took it away from him. And in the end, directed it well, well off target. Been so robust. Walker has just been such a, a bread and butter midfielder. Has uh, fit in seamlessly with the uh, the Leamington side since his arrival from uh, Telford a few months ago. There's Devin Kelly Evans. Robs possession in the midfield and delivers a fantastic ball out towards Parker. He's got gold shirts arriving in the centre. If he can pick his head up, Parker needs to decide where to go. Pulls it back. Devin Kelly Evans forced to save from Mason. And it's turned wide by Kelsey Mooney as uh, M Mason met the follow-up as well. But there is the full-time whistle. Leamington can't add a second. Devin Kelly Evans so close to doubling his tally. But it's his third of the season that proves to be the winner for Leamington this afternoon. And they finally break their duck against Geisley. It's their first win against the Lions in 10. And it's three points in the right direction in the mid-table battle. As for Geisley, it's their fifth defeat in six games. Leamington make it five wins out of six at home and go six unbeaten here at your co-op community stadium. Terrific performance from the men in gold, bathed in sunshine for the entirety of the afternoon. And they make it five wins from six at home in all competitions. Leamington have put the Lions in their cage and sent them packing towards the bottom of the table in the National League North. It's finished here, Leamington 1, guys the nil. So Paul, a very uh, tough game out there, but uh, you come away with the three points and especially on your 600 game, you can't be happier. Yeah, well, I mean, listen, I'm glad there hasn't been 600 like that. But um, listen, it was, again, it just listen, it was difficult again that the wind's blowing around, the um, sun's, you can see the player's really struggling. I said last week in my interview that I thought maybe a similar kind of game that a set play could... could Last I thought we could have won it on a set play, and that was the pleasing thing today. A little set play routine we've worked on, and it's a great finish from Devon, uh, and one of the few bits of quality in the game. Listen, what you had, especially first half, when we had the elements against us, um, I thought we defended our box magnificently. Um, and listen, we haven't played well. Today. I don't think we got to the levels now that we needed to get to. But sometimes you've just got to find a way. Um, but a better second half, it was a little bit easier for us. And you know, you know, we're, we're keeping clean sheets now we keep the back door you always got a chance even when you're not playing great it was a difficult game lots of commitment effort you know application it's, uh, but just struggle with, with, with probably the elements and other reasons but um, no lots of big arts um, you know it's another clean sheet for Callum James Mace comes back in today you know what a, what a what a player he's been for Leamington so lots of big performances lots of hard working gritty performances um, 
and it, you know, in the end, it's it's a really good one 0 win. And listen, yeah, six hundred. Like I just said there. Thankfully, there hasn't been many like that in the six hundred. But yeah, listen, I'd just like to thank all the people who've supported me over the years. And, and so I've had some great players, staff. Um, great, the supporters have always been from day one have been great with me. Um, you know, and listen, you know, on and off the pitch, we've sort of grew together, and um, I sort of feel very privileged, really. Um, I don't think I'll do another 600, but uh, keep plugging, plugging, plug, plugging away at the moment, so that no, was great. Um, so some big news that came out in the week is uh, Carl Morrison's left for Fylde. Uh, what's your thoughts on that and some comments on that? It's going to be sorely missed here at Leamington. Yeah, he will, because he's, he's not just on the pitch, but off the pitch. He, he's certainly been one of them. You know, it, it, it'd have been good in the in between us, do you know what I mean? Like one of them characters, that film, you know, that, that it, he's just like one of them. Like he's just such a great kid. He just he brings a smile to your face, really, just bouncy, bubbly. And uh, listen, it's, it's Carl's one of them that that you know he's he's had to do it the hard way. He's never been at a pro club. He's he's he started off in the low levels of non-league football. And Carl's like a few players, really, that they come here and they want to do well for. Them. He's done brilliant for Leamington, but. You know, his, his ambition since he's been a little boy is, is to be a full-time footballer. Um, and listen, you know, Fowler are at this level, but that the football club's amazing and everything about it and the facilities. And you know, when the when a full-time football club football club comes in and we got young boys, we always give them the opportunity to speak to them, and, and it's their call then. And listen, he wants to park his van up for a couple of years, and he wants to give it a go as a full-time football. And it's difficult, but. You know, I, I sort of, you know, take, you know, great pride out of that. Another kid that I've helped sort of get to where he wants to get to. But it's, it's difficult, yeah, it is difficult. But uh, we're fortunate we've got Mr. Mace to step in in the short term.